Hey everybody, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake, and in today's video, I'm doing my wrap up of my review on Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 and how it compares to Adobe Illustrator CS6. So I'm really happy with the direction that Adobe Illustrator took in terms of the upgrades. I'm happy with the way the new font tools work. I love the new curvature tool for the pen tool as far as making curved shapes. It's making life so much easier for me for logo design and for uh, more complex and curvy vector images. I'm gonna be able to do so much more with this now. Um, it's a tool that I've really been wanting and wishing for, and I'm glad Adobe answered the call there. From an overall uh, usability and productivity standpoint, uh, it still has the same great features. Um, CS6 was good. Um, I'm glad they upgraded to 64-bit in that version, but the upgrades that they've made since then are a lot better, and I love the packaging features in the Creative Cloud version. I love the ability to use um, Creative Cloud libraries because now but I do a lot of stuff that involves branding, not only for my personal brand, but also for my clients. So for me, that's huge that they have the um, libraries now where I can store the color palettes more easily, I can store people's logos and just drag them in. It just makes life so much simpler to be able to create the kind of things that I need to on a regular basis to uh, really just get things done faster for my clients and for my business. So it's saving me a ton of time, productivity, and I'm able to get work done sooner, keep clients happy, get my own work done, and knock out projects like a boss. So I really appreciate that. I also love the new Creative Cloud Market overall. While not a Illustrator exclusive feature, I love how that plays into that, and I love the vector resources that they're providing there, and those have helped me out on a few projects as well. So that way I didn't have to go out and buy stuff, I didn't have to draw stuff myself. It's really cool, and I love the integration with the uh, Adobe Mobile stuff, because as many of you know, I got a new iPad Air recently. So now that I have the iPad Air 2, I can use things like Adobe Brushes, I can use Adobe um, Illustrator Draw, Line, Shape, and I can do a lot more interesting things that integrate directly into the projects I'm doing. So that's actually really helpful for me. Adobe Colors also lets me um, you know, create palettes on the fly. I was able to um, you know, do that very well for a recent client uh, while we were talking on the phone. I was able to just actually sit there and create a color palette and send it off to her for approval. So that worked out really good. And then when we moved on to the project, I was able to bring that directly into Adobe Illustrator and get to work. So that was just you know super productive for me. So obviously I'm giving this thing aces across the board. Um, I think it's great. I think you should definitely be using it for your logo design and branding and some of your print design stuff. Um, ultimately compared to CS6, for most things, yes, you can still get away with using CS6. I'm not gonna sit there and tell you you can't. Um, from a productivity standpoint, I feel like CC 2014 and definitely 15 and everything going forward is just gonna make life easier because it's gonna be faster, they're gonna keep adding value, and they're gonna keep making everyday tasks easier. Could you do them the way you've been doing them for the last five, 10 years, whatever? Sure. Do you want to? That's another question. Me, I like being on the cutting edge. I like moving as fast as possible. I like freeing up my time. I don't wanna spend 10 hours on something if I could spend seven hours. I don't wanna spend 20 minutes if I can do it in five and get that time back to be creating content, marketing myself, getting new clients, going out, having a great time, going to conventions, and not worrying about things. So productivity is super important for me because I can't buy back time. Anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, so let me know that or ask me any of your questions about Illustrator in the comment section below. Also, if you wanna go ahead and tweet me directly and try and get an answer in real time, go ahead and tweet at Roberto Blake in Twitter and I'll try and respond to you as quickly as I can. To make sure I see everything and I know what we're talking about, go ahead and use the hashtags createawesome and Illustrator and that will give me some context for our conversation and make sure that I get it. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. It really means a lot. And don't forget, create something awesome today.